it's not just me that uses these same techniques and tools. So Brian actually said, hey, we're using FreedomSoft now for nine days, and it's paid for itself for the next six years. Now, that's pretty cool. On day seven, Brian resurrected a lead that had gone under contract today that's going to net them $16,000. Now, that lead was eight months old, and they locked up six more since yesterday that were just languishing in their old CRM, and he called it trapped money. So let's start with this. This is important. Who is this training for? Well, it's for real estate investors. It's for real estate agents. It's for wholesalers. It's for fix and flip rehabbers. It's for buy and hold landlords. It's for brand new investors. It's for experienced pros. And it's even for investment funds that are looking to take their systems organization and process to the entirely new level. Here's the deal. The market is changing again, and I bet you can probably feel it. Competition seems to always be increasing, and it's getting more expensive, and it's becoming harder and harder to get good leads. Now, if you don't change with it and use everything to your advantage to help you, your competition is going to keep beating you to the best leads. Now, I'm going to stop right here and I want to ask you guys, are you feeling the market changes? Hit me in the chat box. Let's keep this a little bit interactive. Hit me in the chat box and let me know if you're, oh yeah, it's already, it's already filling up. Let me know if you are feeling the competition. Because that is one of the biggest challenges that real estate investors have, whether you're trying to close your first deal or you're trying to close more deals every single month. Well, here's what I want to do. The way I want to teach you this is to show you first a case study of a market that I recently launched in and second, a step-by-step -step live demo of exactly how you can do it too. So here's how I do it. This strategy that I'm going to be teaching you is really pretty simple. See, here's what I did. On Friday, I picked the city that I wanted to launch my real estate investing business in. What I'm going to be showing you here today, you can do in your local market right in your backyard, or you can do virtually across the country. On Saturday, the next day, I had my team start generating free leads. Okay. By Monday morning, I had about 46 inbound leads for my team to work. They started working those leads by mid Monday morning and we had made four written offers by Tuesday afternoon. Now we had a total of over 88 leads by Wednesday morning and we got our first signed contract back by about noon on that same day. We had 99 leads inbound to us by Friday and our second signed contract. So guys, this is exactly the process that we use. Now, I want you to see the actual leads and we're gonna break this all apart and show you exactly everything in just a minute as soon as we start that timer. So here are the actual leads. We got inbound replies. Yep, I'd be interested in selling. It might be an option. I'd like to talk to my husband and we'll be in touch. Or take a look at this one. Hi, good morning. Yes, I would be interested. Yes, I would be. Yes, these are all replies, answers to us asking if they would be interested in selling their property. Okay, now this is the first contract that we got. My team got that inbound lead. We called them back right from inside the software. We just clicked the phone number, called them back, had a couple of conversations, and this was the first contract. The second one was the same thing. Got the inbound lead, clicked on the number right inside the contract, had a couple of text messages go back and forth, and had a conversation. Here's both of those signed contracts. So friends, let me do just a little introduction some some of you know me well and some of you may not know who i am at all i i want you to just know this there's no lame i'm so cool here okay the the reality is i just want you to know a little bit about my background so you can kind of understand the lens from which i'm teaching you this stuff here today i started flipping houses what i call the right way back in 2001 uh, over that time, look, I've watched gurus come and go over the years teaching people stuff that honestly I believe wastes their time, saps energy, and kills motivation. Friends, I'm still here 20 years after I got into this business because I focus on doing the things that get results on a consistent basis regardless of what's going on in the market.
I've personally invested in real estate successfully in over 20 different states and more than 30 cities across the country. I've done just about every kind of deal you can think of and have spent a lot of time and money honing and perfecting my skills. In 2008, as the real estate and financial markets crashed, I put together a large real estate fund to cash in on that crash. And recently, I co-founded a real estate investment franchise called Real Estate From Anywhere, which was designed to help people launch their business and start their path to financial freedom through real estate investing. Now, that's me on the business side. I just want to touch a little bit on the personal side. And friends, look, this is uh, not to talk about houses and cars and vacations and trips. That's not what I'm all about. I, I just want you to know me a little bit because I think that other stuff is a lot, is disingenuous. You're here to learn a strategy and a technique and get something for you. And that's what this is about. I happen to live here in Colorado, just outside of Boulder at the base of the Rocky Mountains. I've been married to my beautiful bride for, well, let's just say a couple decades plus some change. We've got three great kids and a little dog that we love. And my wife and I like to travel the country in our plane, connecting with friends and enjoying those things that real estate investing offers. I want to do this. Let me say something up front here. The government's pretty clear. I cannot make income claims as I go through this training today and show you what we do in, in my real estate investing business. The reality is most people are going to do nothing with the information I'm about to share with you. And because I don't know you, how hard you'll work, or if you'll even follow my system, I don't know whether you'll make any money or not. And heck, you could even lose money. Here's what I do know. Real estate investing is never easy. But about the easiest way I know to get motivated seller leads is what you'll learn here today. So with that, let's dive in. There are literally dozens of different ways to find motivated seller leads. See, most strategies work at different times of the market. And the thing is this, you need to know when to zig and when to zag. The secret is understanding what everyone else is doing and then doing something different that gets better results faster. So let's take a look at some of the options and what everybody's doing. Number one, you can get in your car and drive for dollars. Look, the problem with that is it takes hours of your time every week, gas is expensive, and it's not always easy to tell if a house is owned by a motivated seller or not. Number two, you can set up a website and you can wait for online leads. The problem with this approach is that it's passive, it's expensive, and it's very competitive. Look, it works if you have a big budget and a lot of time to wait, but if you want leads in an hour, this isn't for you. Now, number three, you could set up bandit signs all around town, right? The problem with this approach, and it works, is that most cities have code enforcement laws banning bandit signs and very expensive fines for each sign you put out if they call you and you answer. So I could go on and on and show you dozens of other ways to find motivated seller leads. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how we found this house, okay? I'm going to show you how... We found this house that we bought and sold on the same day on Centennial Avenue and made a $5,960 profit. I'm also going to show you how we closed three deals in one week and made eighteen grand. This house, we made a $6,600 profit. We bought it and sold it on the same day. This house, we made a $6,150 profit. And here's that little house that we made a $59.50 profit that I just showed you a minute ago because we closed these three deals in the same week. Now, each of these deals have one thing in common, and this is important. What do you think it is? Let me just ask that question before I tell you what I'm talking about. Hit me in the chat box. Do you guys know what was the one thing that each of these deals has in common? Hit me in the chat box. I'm getting a lot of different answers. Sellers were motivated. Yes, that's true. Uh, properties were distressed. That was mostly true. Uh, hadn't been updated. Um, they were all in the same city. Yes, uh, that's that's actually true on this case. Um, I've seen a lot of different answers. Okay, let me just do this. Let me tell you what it is. Every one of these houses was vacant. Okay, a vacant house creates motivation. It's not producing income. It's a vandal. It's a it's a vandalization risk. Um, it it makes the the seller work to to get the house occupied. It becomes a liability rather than an asset. 
each of these houses was vacant. Now, a lot of people can find vacant houses if they spend a lot of money sending out direct mail, and then they get back a return to sender stamp on the re return mail that doesn't get delivered, and it shows that the house is vacant. So the U.S. Postal Service actually tracks all of the vacant properties across the country. Now, take a look at this next slide and ask yourself if you think you stand a chance getting leads against this guy. Okay, here's what's happening. Since March, our local direct mail spending to homeowners is a little over $5,000 a month. That's just the mail itself. They're doing a combination of all types of letters. They're split testing things. They're sending 30,000 letters over six months. Friends, $5,000 a month on direct mail alone. I have a question for you. If you could spend less time and money and get better leads faster, would you do it? Well, here's the thing. There is an easier, faster, cheaper, and much better way. Let me show you how to do it. In fact, I'm gonna bring over my software here and let me pull this over onto the screen here. Let me click the, the button here to change my screens. Here's what I want to show you, how fast you can get inbound sellers contacting you asking to buy their property, okay? And so in a minute, I'm gonna actually start a stopwatch and we're gonna record and, and do a stopwatch to see how long this takes. Before I start the stopwatch, I wanna show you one really quick thing. I wanna show you that FreedomSoft is built around this idea of lead campaigns. And so uh, think about a campaign as the bucket that you're gonna dump all of your leads into and that you're gonna then work all of those leads in a bucket. And so right now you can see in my inbox, I don't have any lead campaigns. And so we're going to go ahead and start the stopwatch now. I'm gonna click start, and then I'm gonna click back to FreedomSoft, and we're gonna do this whole thing right now from scratch. So let's create a new lead campaign, which is a new bucket that you're gonna work in. And we're gonna call this Hot Seller Leads, and I'm gonna target Indianapolis. So we're gonna do Hot Seller Leads in Indy, this is gonna be a manual campaign and we're gonna create the lead campaign. Just like that, you now have the bucket that you're gonna dump your leads into. It's, it's that simple. Now, one of the amazing and awesome things about FreedomSoft is you get to eliminate any of your third-party phone systems. There's no importing and exporting and losing communications and trying to sync up phone numbers. FreedomSoft's complete phone system can be linked to your link lead campaigns just like this. Click this little drop down and then link the hot seller leads phone number that's right inside FreedomSoft right to this campaign. Now, any inbound or outbound call or text message is going to be automatically tracked to the campaign and right to the appropriate lead. You'll never lose your communication history again. It's so simple. Now, once we have this linked, here's what we're going to do. We now have the bucket that we're going to be dumping these leads into. So we're going to go over to the marketing tab and we're going to go down to lead finder and I'm going to click start search. Lead finder is FreedomSoft's nationwide database of all properties. There's over a hundred million property records in the FreedomSoft database. And what you're going to notice is that we have access to certain flags that are going to get you the right type of of properties. We actually have a data feed that comes in and allows us to add a US Postal Service flag to identify vacant properties. So let's build our list. Let's go to Indiana and let's start with Marion County. I'm just going to scroll down here and go to Marion County and let's do a couple things. Let's go after absentee or investor owned properties that are vacant. And I'm just going to mark this vacant flag as yes. Now, we're going to come down here to ownership type, and we're going to include individual owners only, and I'm going to exclude corporate owned, I'm going to exclude trust owned, and I'm going to exclude bank owned. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to build a list that is individual owned so that I can drop them right into my individual owner skip trace process, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Now, we're not going to change any of the other filters because I want all properties in that county that are absentee owned, so owned by an investor that doesn't live at the property that is flagged in our system as a vacant property. And I'm going to click search. So while the search is going, you can watch it count up right over here below the stop search red bar on the right upper screen. 
So I've got 3,958 properties in Marion County that meet that criteria. Now, some of you might look at this and say, well, that's too many properties, Rob. I, I, I want to get more focused. I want to I want to narrow in on this. Okay, well, let's let's do this. Let's go back to our search. Let's return to our search. And instead of searching the entire county of Marion, and, and notice you could count, you could search any county in the entire state, change the state, and you can search any county in the entire country. But let's get more specific. Let's go in and search a specific zip code. So now let's just pick one of the investor zip codes in the uh, Indianapolis area, and let's do the same search: absentee owner. Um, and let's put this vacant flag as yes. We're going to leave everything else the way we have it, and I'm going to click search. And so from almost 4,000 properties, we just narrowed our search down to 906. Now, some of you are going to say, hey, that 906, that's perfect. You're going to grab all 906, and you're going to go and drop them into your lead campaign bucket. Others of you say, hey, let's narrow that in a little bit more for my first run and try to get even more specific. So what we do is we go back to search and let's add the out of state owner flag. So now only out of state owners are going to pop up in this search. That's helpful because think about what we have. We have an owner that doesn't live there, absentee, that lives out of state so there's distance and they have a vacant property that they're trying to deal with. Friends, that is an extremely extremely good list for you to go after now let's click the search button and narrow this down from you know the first search was almost 4,000 vacant properties down to uh, 900 and now down to 168 properties so let's take these 168 properties and how long has it taken me to build this list even explaining it to you has taken me five minutes so we're gonna click back over here and I want you to see I can click on any of these and I can see what I'm dealing with. So I know that here's the address, it's three bedroom, one bath, 1,664 square feet, it's vacant, there's an absentee owner and the owner lives out of state. Now I can click right here and I can see the street view and if I take a close look at this property, uh, it definitely has some uh, look of vacant. I can. Uh, kind of walk around the corner here and and look at this but if I look into those windows you can kind of tell it's easier to see from the side over here you could kind of tell that that definitely looks vacant um, and because there's nothing in that window so a pretty good uh, little search and you can go back and you can look at any of those. Well, let's just do this. Let's grab all 168 properties and drop them into our lead bucket. So I'm going to grab all pages, all 168 are selected, and then I'm going to add them to a lead campaign. Okay. So I'm going to add them to my hot seller leads indie campaign. There's my campaign right here. I'm going to click on that. And that took those 168 leads and dropped them into, um, into that lead campaign. So let's go back over here to my campaigns, leads down to my campaigns. And there it is, my hot seller leads indie campaign. And I now have 168 properties in that campaign. Friends, look at this. It's taken me six minutes and 40 seconds to get there. Okay, so now let's do this. Now let's go and get the phone number so that we can do a marketing, a lead campaign and actually get some sellers calling us. So let's go ahead and click on these new. Let's look at all of these new leads. And here's what here's what you'll have. You'll notice that they're uh, in the lead campaign in the inbox group. The status is new. Uh, here's the address, the owner of record, the, the mailing state, uh, the primary contact information and then the campaign that they're in. But you'll notice the primary contact information here is blank. And that's what we're going to go fix right now. We're gonna go and we're going to get all of the contact information for these sellers. And so I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna select all 168 leads and I'm gonna click on the big more actions button in FreedomSoft and I'm gonna go down to skip trace leads. If you're not familiar with the skip trace process, what this is going to do is it's going to append phone numbers and email addresses to these leads. So let's click the skip trace leads button and 
FreedomSoft needs to know what do we have. So we built this list using Lead Finder. So the owner of record, we're just going to match that up with the full name. And then we're going to match up the mailing address, the mailing city, the mailing state, and the mailing zip code. And we're going to confirm the skip trace. What that does is it adds that skip trace order right over to my skip trace leads list. And you can see that I have 80 uh, leads now in my skip trace order. So watch, this is so cool, guys. Watch this. I'm just going to click skip trace 80 leads. And uh, I'm going to name this. I'm going to call this uh, hot seller leads. 41016. Okay, and that's my indie. Now I'm gonna apply. I want when I skip trace, I also want to get a do not call list flag and I want to get a litigator flag. I want to know have these people are, are these people uh, folks that sue people over phone calls or are they on a do not call list flag so that I can exclude them from my marketing campaigns. And I'm gonna just come down here and I'm gonna click next step and I'm going to submit my order. And you'll notice that um, my do not call this flag is included with the skip trace and the known litigator flag uh, is included as well. And I'm gonna come down here and click submit. So in progress, I have 80 leads pending. As I refresh my page, we're gonna see this complete and you'll notice this is complete, complete, no match found, complete, no match found, complete, complete. Okay, here's the cool thing. For any of these where no match is found or there's been missing information, you're not charged for those. You're only charged for successful skip traces. So as I refresh this page again, the entire order is now complete. Okay, I have 46 leads that I have just appended good contact information to using FreedomSoft. How long did this take me? It took me 10 minutes and I'm explaining to you how to do it. If you were just doing this, this would take you just a couple of minutes. So let's go back here because now what we're going to do is we're going to go from our orders page, our skip trace order, and we're going to go right back to our lead campaign and we're going to view all of these new leads again now that we've added the phone numbers to them. And so what you're going to see is that that phone number column, that primary contact phone number column now filled with phone numbers. We remember we excluded the LLCs. We've got all of the individual owner information. And so now it's as simple as this. And let's go check this again. I'm at 11 minutes right now. Check this out. We're going to go in and we're going to select all 168 leads and we're going to build a lead marketing campaign. We're going to go back to the more actions button and down to new SMS broadcast. And what we're going to do is create an SMS, a text message out to these sellers. And when you see how quickly this works and how awesome this is, you're, you're going to be blown away. So I've grabbed all 168 leads and now I'm going to build my list. I'm going to say, I want to send this out from my hot seller leads campaign. So that's the phone number that I want to send it out to. That way, when anybody replies back, I'm going to automatically capture uh, the, the inbound reply, and it's going to attach it right to the appropriate lead record. So let me set up my from, from phone number. Let me set up my message. Hey, I uh, noticed your property at, and I'm going to do an insert of the property address here. And so this is going to merge in the property address for every property that, that, or every seller that gets a, a, a message. Hey, notice your property at property address. You wouldn't be interested in selling. Would you? And a question mark. Really simple, really clean, really short. Now, I'm going to remove duplicate numbers so I don't send people twice. I'm also going to go ahead and re, uh, send to mobile numbers only. I'm going to remove any numbers that are on the do not call list, and I'm going to remove any numbers that have a DNC, a litigator flag attached to them. So uh, I'm going to click next, and this is going to queue up my SMS broadcast. Now, 
the thing about FreedomSoft and, and what we have built is we've built something that we call Smart Send. And Smart Send is designed to get your text messages delivered. We also believe that it is TCPA compliant because no messages in FreedomSoft are sent until there's human interaction. Vention. And that is so critical to comply with the law. So what we've done is we've just queued up all of these pending. We've got 45 text messages that are pending and queued up. So let's let's start sending these out and see what happens. I'm just going to hover over this top one, the send SMS, and you'll notice that you could skip it. You could call it or you could send it. And when I hover over it, it actually pops up the message. Hey, I noticed your property at 1128 West 3rd Street. You wouldn't be interested in selling, would you? Simple, clean message that's trying to get a response. I'm trying to find these sellers that are that are ready to sell, that are motivated to sell, and that I have good contact information for. So watch this. I'm going to just start sending these out. And I'm just going to start clicking the button. As fast as I can click through these, I'm just sending out the message. And what's going to be cool for you to see is that as I as I work my way down through this you can see I've got 17 left I've sent 30 uh, I'm just moving through this and here we are we're coming to the end what happens almost every time when I when I do this so we've now got pending zero we've sent 45 there's the 45 that we've sent almost immediately every time we do this you're going to start getting replies back and where those replies are going to come in is in freedomsoft's notifications page so if i click over to the notifications what you're going to see are those replies that are going to start to come in and so uh, I'm just going to hang out here for a second because it almost always happens that as soon as we send out uh, a broadcast type message, they're going to start coming in. Okay, there's the first one. Um, uh, Ian says, no, just bought it. Okay, and you can see that it's coming in from that campaign, hot seller leads in, in Indy. And so let's go ahead and refresh again. Uh, we're going to start seeing these replies okay there's another one take me off the list so we've gotten two replies so far the first one says no just bought it the next one says take me off the list totally normal that's what we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot of people that say nope uh, I'm not interested we're looking for those sellers that say yes here's the third one how much there's a there's a question mark how much so what we are able to do is click right on this reply and it's gonna take us right to the lead record and so let's just give it a couple of more seconds. Um, here's another one. John says, yes, I'm interested in selling. Remember what we asked. You wouldn't be interested in selling, would you? So I've got two positive replies so far, two that say, nope, not interested, two that are positive. So the not interested, I can go in and mark those in my, in my lead follow-up just as a warm follow-up drip. Okay, they're not ready today. Maybe they'll be ready in the future. We can trigger FreedomSoft's follow-up automation and, and just stay in touch and in contact with these sellers who we know we now have the, the right people. And so here's another one. Uh, so we've got two positive replies, a how much and a yes from two different folks. We've got a stop and you'll notice FreedomSoft automatically added that to the do not call list. You'll see this number turned red over here. When they reply back, stop, this is FreedomSoft's smart sense. So not only does it get delivered, but it automatically recognizes when a seller says, hey, nope, take me off your list. FreedomSoft automatically does that for you. So, and then the last one here so far, who dis? Now, this, friends, this is how this stuff works. And you might be asking yourself now, okay, well that's great. So now I've got I've got leads that I can follow up with, um, and you know what do I do? Where do I get the funding? Where do I find buyers? How do I how do I do this stuff? Well, FreedomSoft, just like we built this seller leads list right here, and we have live contacts that now we can click into and and work. I'm going to go back to my lead campaigns. We're going to go into this and I want you guys to see something. I'm going to go click on, on view all and we freedom Sound automatically organized those 168 
uh, records right here into this uh, group, into this broadcast group. So as we start working those leads, we can now keep track of the status of those leads as we go through it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to go find your buyers. We're gonna go right back to Lead Finder and watch this. We're gonna start a search and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna search that same area, Indiana, and we're gonna go right down here to the same zip code, 46, 016 and we're going to search for absentee owners now this time what we're going to do though is we're going to go down and under uh let's see ownership type we're going to put no preference to all of this and under financial filters we're going to say hey show me all of the buyers over the last year all of the absentee the investor owned buyers over the last year so i'm just going to go back here to january 1 2020 and let's go ahead and put this in uh, January 1, 2021. And I'm going to change no other filters. And I'm going to come down here and click search. Friends, these are people that have bought investment properties in this zip code in the last year. Now, we can just click on this top one and we can go see it. It's not vacant. It's absentee owned. So an investor owns it. They're not out of state. We can take a look at the property there's what they bought and we can take a look around the neighborhood we can see it's kind of maybe right on the edge of a little commercial slash industrial area uh, decent looking little house but here's what we can do we can grab all pages all 427 investors that have bought properties in this zip code in the last year hey if you're looking for buyers for deals that you're going to go get Watch how fast this is. We're gonna click add to lead campaign. Now this time we're gonna click new lead campaign. We're gonna do this on the fly. And we're gonna put hot buyer leads indie. And we're gonna do a manual campaign and we're gonna create our lead campaign. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go click on FreedomSoft. We're gonna go right over here to my campaigns. And you're gonna notice right here I refresh this, we've got 427 records now in this campaign. So here's our here's our seller leads that we just, you know, replied to and we've we've got inbound leads coming in. Here's our buyer leads. So let's click into the buyer campaign and watch. I can do the same thing. I can click right here. I can select all 427 and I can go right there and I can go skip trace leads. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before. I'm going to match up the owner name, the mailing uh, address information, and I'm going to confirm my skip trace. That's going to take me right up here. I'm going to go up to my skip trace uh, notifications page, and I can skip trace the individual owners. So the, the LLCs or the trust, they need an advanced skip trace process. What we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick skip on the uh, 46016 uh, buyers. And I'm gonna go down here and click next. And the same thing that I did before, I'm gonna click submit my order and watch how fast this is. I'm just gonna refresh and you're gonna see in progress, 187 leads pending. And I'm just gonna keep refreshing and you're gonna see, and remember you only get charged for successful results. And so as we just keep refreshing this page, uh, we're gonna have all 400 and some skip traced in uh, a matter of seconds. And as soon as we get this done, or actually it filtered it out, we've got a, a couple hundred that, uh, that we're, we're skip tracing. So it says in progress and the final, it's now complete. That's complete. So we can now go back to our lead campaign for that exact same targeted zip code, click in on our buyer leads, let's go view them, and we're gonna start to see we've got contact information now. So what do we do? We go ahead and we grab that group. We go to the more actions, and we're gonna do a, a dialer campaign this time. We're gonna cold call these buyers. And so I'm gonna confirm uh, those leads to push them into our marketing system and I'm going to call them. Uh, I would go and add a new 
uh, either a, a, a buyer phone number in FreedomSoft and link it to this campaign, or I would grab one of my acquisitions, workspace numbers. We'll just grab a workspace number, and we're not, we're not going to send a text message. Um, but what we're going to do, so we're going we're gonna to leave this uh, blank. I'm, I'm literally not going to do anything with this. Uh, remove duplicates um, and send to mobile numbers only remove DNC and uh, remove the litigators in fact uh, I'm gonna go click next and it's gonna queue this up and now here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna call through all of these buyers I I like I like to send a text message to sellers because I believe that that is TCPA compliant I like to call my buyers and I like to just work down the list and, and place those calls. I, if I click this, it's going to pop up. And right here inside of FreedomSoft, I can call from my buyer campaign all of these potential buyers. Friends, this is how easy it is in FreedomSoft to go get your leads, get them skip traced, get inbound opportunities, analyze your deals, build your buyers list, and go make this stuff happen. So let's take this and dive back into the presentation because I want to keep going and show you some other really, really uh, cool things about the software. So let me get this swapped over. Okay, I think I got the video back up. Friends, do you realize the power of what I just showed you? I just showed you in minutes how you can go out and get motivated seller leads contacting you. You don't have to wait. You don't have to hope. You don't have to you don't have to be in that position of feeling like you're at risk of not being able to do something today. The power of what I just showed you puts the power of your success in your hands. Now take a look at this. This is from Brian. FreedomSoft is the most organized, easiest to use CRM that covers all the real estate investor needs and then some. These guys thought of everything. I personally experienced three other CRMs and nothing comes close to FreedomSoft. Or take a look at this. Keith says, FreedomSoft is the best gosh darn real estate platform there is on the planet. And one of the reasons our users continually tell us this is because not only do we have great tools that are easy to use, but we have an entire native app for both the iPhone and the Android. So whether you're sitting at your desk and working on the on the laptop or your computer, your desktop, or you're out in the field, you have the power of FreedomSoft in the palm of your hands. You can make, receive, and record calls right